Steve, on the Republican side, Donald Trump referred to the protesters in New Mexico last night as thugs. What's the fallout from those violent situations that we see, and especially if it keeps happening across the country at his rallies? Yeah, there's a couple of things. First of all, this is not a very good look for Trump. You don't want, I mean, you're, he, he's another guy, by the way, like Hillary Clinton, who his unfavorables are sky high. And you don't want these kinds of negative pictures out there, uh, especially for, for voters who are trying to figure out where they're going to go in this election. Are they going to vote, uh, you know, they're on the fence over Trump and Clinton. And you see these kinds of things and you start asking, voters start asking the question, why is this happening? Why is there so much violence, anti-Trump violence? What is he saying? Why would I vote for a guy who uh, inspires such violent reaction? But at the same time, uh, you know, we talk so much about Trump uh, and the criticism that he got from Democrats for inciting violence at his rallies, uh, at least among pro-Trump people. Now, these are anti-Trump protesters, and we've seen this a couple of times now, where anti-Trump people uh, have created uh, some chaos, whether it was in California or now in New Mexico. Uh, and the question is, will this happen moving forward at the convention? And is it incumbent on, upon Democrats now to say to these protesters, uh, we probably uh, shouldn't be uh, protesting in a violent way, but maybe more peaceful protests? It'd be interesting to see if Hillary Clinton or Sanders or other Democrats talk to these uh, anti-Trump protesters and say, tamp down the violence. We didn't want Trump and his pro-Trump uh, people uh, committing violence, so maybe the anti-Trump people shouldn't uh, either. And David, there's been a lot of talk in the past 24 hours that Paul Ryan may be close to endorsing Donald Trump. What impact would that have, and would it really matter for Trump's campaign at this point? Uh, well, I think it, would, it matters now slightly that somebody like Paul Ryan is holding out his endorsement, refusing to endor endorse Donald Trump. Uh, but I think the party is Donald Trump's party now and not really Paul Ryan's party. That's a huge shift from a, a year ago when I would have said Paul Ryan was the unifying figure in the Republican Party. Uh, at this point, I think if, unless Ryan chooses the sort of Mitt Romney path, his former running mate, and runs actively against Trump and sort of tries to rally people to oppose Trump or vote for somebody else, I don't think it matters that much. But if Ryan endorses Trump, that's great for Trump. If Ryan just sort of keeps his mouth shut and doesn't say anything, that's probably about the same effect for Trump. Okay. Steve Shigaris and David Farenthold, thank you guys so much. Thanks, Rena. Thank you.